This video, I'm going to talk about how I set up hotkeys in OBS Studio. So let's get into it. So if you've watched this channel for some time now, you are familiar with the videos, but I don't really talk much about the technology behind said videos. So I'm going to do that now and in the future. I use OBS Studio to record my videos. I also have it doing these graphics, that right there. That's a OBS graphic that I have built into it. Um, the part of it though is what you don't see, which is what I'm doing here with the keyboard. Now, I have looked into the Stream Deck. You may be familiar with Stream Deck if you kind of researched on it. I personally was like, that's a lot of money just for a what I refer to as a fancy keyboard. So I was trying to think of ways how I could possibly do the same functionality with the Stream Deck, but not with a Stream Deck. And here's what I came up with. I have my standard keyboard. It has the numerical pad down here on the bottom, as you can see. And I essentially use this numerical pad as hotkeys in OBS. Now that means that when I'm recording or typing, I can't, if I have a bunch of numbers, I actually have to use the but numbers above the main part of the keyboard instead of the number pad. But otherwise, I'm able to have one single keyboard on my desk instead of multiple devices on my desk just to be able to record videos. Now, how did I go about setting that up in OBS? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and switch over to the computer screen. And this is gonna kind of look kind of weird because I have uh, OBS, I'm showing you OBS to, with OBS running, so it's kind of weird. All right, first thing I have my scenes over here on the left. And as you see, I in my scenes, in order to be able to know what scene is mapped to what key without having to remember it, I put it in as part of the scene name. So the black scene right here, which I just clicked to make this black, is num0 on my keypad. Now num0 refers to the number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard. And so if I press zero, it will jump to that particular scene. The same thing for num7, num8, and so forth as you see mentioned here. Now, how do I go about doing that in OBS? So if we go over to the settings and go over to hotkeys, I have the shortcuts set up in two places. So one, I have them set up in the transition. So anytime I press one of these keys, not only will it uh, show that screen, but it'll also transition to that screen. And I'm gonna show you the other part in a second. So I put each of the scenes that I have that I wanna be able to transition to here in the transition section. And so as you see, I have seven, eight, nine, which maps to various scenes here, as well as five, six, and zero, you see here. Now, if we scroll down, and if you need to add, add additional shortcuts that you want to be able to apply to this particular action, you just come over here to the right-hand side for so you see transition just go straight across, hit plus, and it'll give you option to put in a number, another option there. So I can put in numpad one if I want that. And if you want to remove it, just hit delete and it will take it out. And if you hit the minus, it'll actually take out that whole text field. So if we scroll down to where the scenes show up in the hotkey settings, I have the switch to scene set as the same number that I have listed over here in the scene name. And that way, when I press that scene, it will actually change over, not only will it show it in preview, but then it will also transition because I have that scene shortcut put into not only the scene itself, but then in the transition section up here. And so that's how I'm able to do that. I don't have to remember what scene goes to where. Um, I'm able to just be able to look at the screen, be like, I want to switch to that, hit it, keep going. This same thing will work if you're using the multi-view, and I want to show that as well. So if we go over here to view, and so you have the multi-view set up, and as you see here in the screen, I have my shortcuts here. So if you're using, if you're used to using the multi-view, then you can do that as well, and you won't have to remember what scene is mapped to what key. Just look at the screen, be sure to put your your the shortcut key into the label and you're good to go so that wraps things up for this video it, hopefully it has helped you become better with using obs studio if you have any questions 
drop those down below. Also, please sure to check out my website, thealmostengineer.com. I post more content on there than I do sometimes on my YouTube channel. And sometimes you might actually see different content on there that you don't see on the YouTube channel. So if you want to learn more about just, not just OBS, but technology in general, be sure to check that out. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at almost ENGR. And until next time, peace out.